What's going on? <clears throat> oh shit. <clears throat> Wrong channel. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Damo Senpai. And yeah, I am just now seeing this. Like it just it came out at 12. So hopefully I can get this up really fast. We are here with the winners of this year's anime awards. Let me take a sip of this water so I can at least get some of my voice back. Later that same evening. I would be surprised to find out that I Taxi is not a winner in almost every category. It would blow my mind if they weren't the winner in every category. So let's figure this out. Let's let's go through these one by one and actually see what is what. But if you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button or the link in the description. Either one to help me towards that cause of reaching my goal, which is to become a full-time content creator. All right, anime of the year, Attack on Titan final season part one. <laughs> Nani? Runners up 86 JJK Odd Taxi Ranking of Kings Sunny Boy wasn't even in the fucking discussion. So 86 was number two, right? Second place 86. I will take that. Unless they're doing this shit in alphabetical order. In that case, this is stupid. Attack on Titan winning anime of the year? That's kind of crazy to me. I love Attack on Titan. Don't get it twisted. It's one of my favorite anime and manga, but to say this is like outside of politics <laughs> right this ain't this ain't even a political vote because if it was i taxi would have won but hell yeah man i'm for sure happy with this decision best boy baji i kind of figured that was gonna be the case senku was the runner up i'll take that i'll take that i voted for senku so everything that i voted for here got in second place so far 86 and uh senku for best boy in anime of the year. Baji, I mean, who didn't see this coming? You know what I'm saying? One of the best written stories so far, according to my friends, like the way they explained it to me and the way they explain what's going on with Baji. I'm just like, damn, how could this not be such a well-written character? So best boy being Baji, I'll take it. Best girl, Nobara. What? I fucks with it because I'm a JJK fan, but dog. Over Vladalina Malise? The fact that Toru Honda didn't win from Fruit Basket is kind of crazy. Best protagonist, Otokawa. I knew it was coming. There had to be a few categories where Odd Taxi takes the cake. And Aaron Yeager got second. Who did, I voted for Joe. The fact that Joe got fucking fourth, that's kind of got me feeling some type of way because that was way better than what the fuck we're looking at. Joe as a protagonist was hard, bro. Joe as a protagonist was hard. Aaron Yeager being runner up, that's cool. I'll take that. But Otokawa winning, I seen this coming. I seen this coming because Odd Taxi was quite the phenomenon for people. Best antagonist Aaron Yeager over Shigaraki? Best fight scene, Yuji Itadori and Toto versus Hanami. This is the one I voted for. I totally voted for this. I, I like this one. This was really, 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 really well done. Aaron Yeager versus Warhammer Titan. Now, the fact that Naruto didn't win, and it's crazy, right? I said, if this didn't win, this was gonna win absolute, like, free. Because you know, I'll take it for that best fight scene. Best director, I knew it. I knew it, right? I knew it. I knew Odd Taxi was gonna win. Where is, uh, I voted for uh, Megalobox. And the fact that that's all the way down here, kind of depressing. Well, that's 2-2, two -two, right? That's 2-2, two -two, Odd Taxi and Attack on Titan, I think. Best animation, Demon Slayer, Mugen Train arc. How? It was not even better than uh, part two of JJK. See, this is where I get into, uh, this is where I get into the politics portion because there's no way the, the fucking Mugen Train season takes the cake over all of JJK. You guys are crazy. Even Miss Kobayashi. There's no way. Even Vivi, who has some of the best animation I've seen in a long time. There's no way, bro. There's no way. Best character design, Tadashi Hiramatsu for JJK season two, or course two. I voted for Vivi, right? Yeah, I voted for Vivi. I thought Vivi had some really, really good character design. But yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 had a lot of unique characters. I mean, same clothing, but like a lot of uniqueness to the characters, if that makes sense. So yeah, I guess I agree with this one. I guess I can, I can live with this one. Best score? It's crazy. The fact that 86 did not win this is a fucking travesty. It's a travesty. I feel like people vote when they were voting for this thought of this as the movie and not the season because bro 
Ain't no way you watch 86 and not feel the music, right? Ain't no way. That has to be what this is because, bro, like I said, I don't agree with this one. Best VA performance Japanese? Yeah, I, I seen this coming. I voted for Yuki Kaji. Yuki Kaji is dope as fuck. Yuki Kaji is dope as fuck. The fact that Gabby got second? Best VA performance English? I didn't vote for Adam. I voted for Adam MacArthur because he did Yuji. And like, why not vote for Yuji, right? Best opening sequence. This is a robbery. This is a robbery. This one sucked. This opening of Attack on Titan was ass. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. It was not like good. That's crazy that it won, but and Vivid Vice got third over? Oh, hell nah. Y'all lost y'all minds. I initially thought that I Taxi was gonna win this one too. The fact that Boku no Sento, if we're talking about like song, the song is really pretty good, but the visuals were terrible. Anyways, moving on. Best ED, Shirogane by Lisa. I don't know. I didn't watch the ED for the Mugen Train arc because I'll keep it frank with you. I didn't watch the movie train art because I didn't think we needed to because we watched the fucking movie. I thought Skate the, I voted for Skate the Infinity. I thought that shit was really good. Best action, uh-oh. Mugen train arc. Oh my God, bro. Ain't no fucking way. Over Jujutsu Kaisen Course 2. Did you see what the hell happened in Jujutsu Kaisen Course 2? It ain't no way, bro. This is some bullshit, right? This is some bullshit. This is going the exact opposite of what I, my initial, like, predictions were. Best comedy, Comey Can't Communicate? Eh. Best drama, To Your Eternity? My boy Mike is happy with that. I thought either Fruits Basket or 86 was going to win this. I voted for 86. Best romance? Uh-oh. This one is going to be tough. Who is it? Poor Mia? That's actually cool. I voted for the... Wow! The Duke of Death and His Maid all the way at the bottom? That's what I voted for. Well, I can't believe that the Duke of Death and His Maid is all the way at the bottom. But I agree with Horror Mia winning. Horror Mia was pretty good. I liked it. I, I just recently rewatched it too. It's still pretty good. Best Fantasy. Let's go! Let's go, baby, let's go! That's what I voted for, yeah! Season two, the whole season two of that time I got reincarnated as a slime was fucking dope by the way where is uh season three kind of need that but anyway i'm happy with this one we already knew demon slayer was winning this one this wasn't even this wasn't even a discussion even though i voted for evangelion because it was way better than this shit but yeah man evangelion the way it wrapped up yes loved it but you can't deny that the mugen train movie was like good right you can't deny that so Kudos to all those who voted for the Crunchyroll Awards, right? Kudos to all of you guys. Do I agree with a lot of these? Kind of. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section. You know, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what your answers were. You can leave a link to them on my Twitter. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter at Damo Senpai. Y'all can at me with y'all y'all votes and stuff. Or just leave them in the comment section. Either one of those work. And with that being said, it's your boy Damo Senpai. And I will see you guys in the next video.